Hi, I'm uh, Jason Anderson with DataLink. I'm a uh, principal architect, and today I'll be talking about array-based smart copies and the best ways of using them for business critical applications. So, array-based smart copies have been around for a number of years, um, pioneered by uh, such vendors as uh, Network Appliance, uh, EMC, Touch Data Systems, and others. And they're used for a lot of different purposes in a uh, storage environment. Today, I'm going to talk about two uh, of the most common uses and that we have recommended and deployed at various customers. So I've drawn a just a quick uh, typical storage environment where we've got a production server that's uh, hosting our uh, business critical application connected via a storage network to a data set that we're using. This could be a database, it could be Microsoft Exchange. Um, it's something that's very important to, uh, to the company. So uh, it's very well known technology to be able to create these smart copies of our data and have them be done on the array. So the question is, what do I do with these smart copies once they're done? The most common thing that they're used for is to be able to do uh, enhanced data recovery. So we have the ability, in the event that there is a problem on the primary LUN, we have the ability to present our smart copy back to the production server in order to be able to get rapid recovery. This is something that we recommend more and more companies pursue. Applications are becoming more and more critical with uh, web-based applications becoming more and more prevalent, companies can't afford to have the type of downtime associated with uh, long backup and recovery procedures uh, as they've existed in the past. But another area that too many companies overlook when they have this type of technology is what they can do to enhance their workflow. So I'm going to reset the drawing to back where we've got our production data set and we go ahead and make our smart copy that we have sitting out here on the array. One of the th other uses for having smart copies on the array is to be able to do refreshes into development and into QA environments. So we're able to take multiple copies of the data sets that we've created and we present these up to other servers. What DataLink finds when we talk to customers is that for a lot of business critical applications, this type of workflow is still done through a lot of dump and load. So we still either dump out to flat files and then restore them from that, or we dump to tape and reload. And the end result is that there's a lot of DBA work involved, there's a lot of application work involved, uh, the storage team has to get involved to do all this process, and it's very time consuming. So. Kind of the end result is that we only do refreshes uh, very infrequently. Fortunately, with the advent of these uh, array-based smart copies and how efficient they've become using, uh, whether it's copy and write technology or, or what NAP is able to do with their uh, snapshot technology, we can take these snapshots very quickly. They use extremely little space, and we can present them up to our development environments and our QA environments very quickly. And the end result is, in this, in this case, is a quicker turnaround on refreshes for developers, um, significantly reduced uh, consumption of storage resources and uh, a lot less burden on our backup environment. So for all these reasons, we're, uh, DataLink recommends that all companies should be investigating array-based smart copies for the use of their business critical applications.